The Australian myth legend of Gallipoli has become part of the Australian psyche and one of the primary elements of that psyche is the Australian submarine AE2, the Australian E-type submarine number two. What is not known commonly in Ireland is that the commander of the AE2 was one Lieutenant Commander Henry Hugh Dacre Stoker, who was born in Dublin on the 2nd of February in 1885. Henry Stoker was a cousin of Bram Stoker, the author and creator of Dracula as we know him today. In 1900 he joined the Royal Navy at the age of 15 and he then on commissioning became part of the fledgling submarine service in the Royal Navy. Stoker rose up to the ranks of the submarine service and by 1914 he had risen up to take command of the new Australian submarine AE2. In January 1915 the three officers of the crew were Henry Dacre Stoker, Gordon Haggard who was the nephew of Ryder Haggard the author of She and Lieutenant John Carey, a Donegal born officer who was the brother of uh, a, or a famous Irish novelist, Arthur Joyce Carey. On the 24th of April 1915, Stoker and the AE2 were given orders to break through the Dardanelles Straits and run amok in the Sea of Marmara and disrupt Turkish transport vessels going on to the Gallipoli Peninsula uh, and this was in order to support the now, the now landings or the landings coming forward for April 1915. On the 25th of April 1915 Stoker broke through the Straits and for 16 hours they were bombarded by Turkish ships. They encountered underwater mines and she was beached at least twice before he finally broke through. On the 30th of April, after a very calamitous three or four days with a lot of engine problems and a lot of uh, Turkish intervention, the AE2 lost, lost control and she surfaced beside a Turkish gunboat which proceeded to shell her. Because they couldn't control the boat, Stoker decided to scuttle her. They scuttled the boat and the whole crew of 32 were taken prisoner by the, uh, by the Turkish forces. For the next three and a half years the, tru the crew endured harsh conditions in the Turkish camp. Stoker and a couple of his officers tried to escape on at least two occasions. On one occasion he was on, on the loose for 18 days. At the end of the war Stoker was released and went on to serve until 1920 with the Royal Navy. He subsequently entered into uh, acting producing, directing of movies and he became noted as a character actor. In 1939 and 40 he returned to the Royal Navy and served during World War II. After the war Stoker became again a sportsman and he was into running, cricket and tennis and actually played at Wimbledon. In 1962 Stoker became the All-Ireland croquet champion at the age of 78 and on his 84th birthday on the 2nd of February 1966 Henry Stoker passed away in London. The AE2 is known as the Silent Anzac but perhaps the Silent Anzac in Irish perspective would be Henry Gordon Dacre Stoker Distinguished Service Order.